Hello, this is Kathleen Wieses from Michigan State University Libraries, and uh, in this video I'm going to be looking at LandScan Global Web App, which is a, a database of worldwide population expressed in one kilometer pixels. This is an extremely useful database if you're interested in population numbers in places of the world that don't have a uh, strong ongoing census program, such as the United States Bureau of Census. It's always measuring the population down to very small geographies. And uh, it originally was developed by the Department, U.S. Department of Energy's Oak Ridge National Laboratory, but now it's spun off into a commercial uh, product. So uh, MSU Libraries has been subscribing to this for a number of years, and so we have several annual data sets available. And it can be reached by anyone with a current MSU login. That means you have to be a current employee or currently enrolled student at Michigan State University. And uh, you could find it from the MSU Libraries website if you were to uh, lib um, site search, land scan. Uh, the URL is uh, right up here that you can see also. At the top of the screen, hidden behind this window, we do see some GIS connection information. This is how you can pull the LandScan data set into GIS software and you could use it. So one way you could extract uh, nationwide information is if you drew this in as a backdrop and then you had a country, a nation shapefile laying over it and then you use the cookie cutter function to extract out uh, the area that you wanted. But the rest of this video is going to be looking at these, the web interface uh, down below. And so you can see we have a number of years of, uh, of data sets. Now, one thing that you are encouraged to not do is to be tantalized with the idea of looking at world populations for a place and compare it from year to year. The methodology has changed a bit over the years, how they go about measuring people in populations, and uh, so when you see changes in population, it might only be a change in methodology that you're seeing. So that's, you should just treat each year as a single data set. So in the 2016 um, data set, we are able to zoom into a place of interest. I'm going to type in Nigeria, and we can zoom in. We can see the population in these one kilometer squares. If we're curious about a single uh, pixel, we could we could zoom in farther uh, to a certain area, and we could inquire about. Um, there we go. I had landscan layers covering up my buttons, but here's my buttons. So I could click on pixel population, click on a single pixel, and it will. This first button, pixel population, one would assume it allows you to click on a pixel and get the retrieve the population of that one square kilometer pixel. It's not working. I tried it in two different browsers and nothing happens when I do that. Current view population is working, however. You zoom into an area and it gives you the population of whatever geographic area it is you're seeing in this rectangle. And then custom area population allows you to draw a polygon. Maybe there's some certain neighborhood that you're interested in. There we go. And double click. And it will give you the population of whatever polygon you just drew. So that's all interesting. Um, but it becomes really useful when you're able to download this information as a shapefile and use in a GIS. And so this button right here allows you to uh, download the data into a custom area. I, I'm not sure if we had to necessarily had to draw our polygon again or, or if it could have reutilized that same one. There we go. And now we will download. All right. It, Okay, and you can see that it downloaded uh, some files here, which we could then uh, extract and use. 
Now in years past, it wasn't this way, 2016. I have the 2014 LandScan open here, and you can see we have the ability to choose a country of the world, and you could just lock in and um, download a shapefile of that one country. It's not a shapefile specifically, it's a, a, but you can use it in a, a GIS. And then, let's see, 2011, was the same way. In, I remember in years past, you could also choose an administrative area of a country, like down to a province level. But now in 2016, we have only one choice, and that's download a custom area. So if you want a country, what I recommend doing is, well, we want to zoom out so we can see the whole country. Uh, we don't know where the boundaries are exactly. And uh, so I'm going to go under Landscan Layers, and I'm going to change the transparency level so that we can see the base map underneath. We have the opportunity to change. I think it would be best to choose whichever one accentuates the national boundaries the most. Zoom out a little farther. There we go. So, yeah, we can see the... the and now we could download custom area, draw our custom area, and we could draw a line and try to approximate the national boundary as closely as we can, and then uh, and then do the download. That, as far as I can tell, that's our, our best option for this. So this is going to be painstaking. It's going to take a while. Uh, how accurate your shape, your custom area is depends on how much time you take uh, tracing the boundary. and. It would certainly be terrible if we did all this work and then accidentally did a stray click to just, you know, tear the whole thing apart. Have to start over. But uh, I'll just do something that will be much faster. There we go. There we go. And there's our custom area. Now we can download it and boundary. So this is how it works at this time. Um, good luck.